Welcome in to Bon Appetit. And once again, we have with us the chef from Central, Randy Gresham. And Randy, uh, you can just feed me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We try. But, you know, before well, you, Randy, tell the folks where you're from originally. Originally from Houston, Texas. Okay. Um, I've been here in town for about two That's years. That's the cowboy hat. That is the <laughs> cowboy hat. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, the right. cowboy hat actually started, I was working on uh, a couple guest, high-end guest ranches up in Wyoming mm -hmm. um, prior to moving down here. And so the cowboy hat, everybody assumes it's from Texas, but uh, mm -hmm. I grew up in the suburbs outside of Houston. Um, got a lot of connections there, but uh, but that's kind of my kind of my thing, and it's Good. worked for me, and well, keeps me a little cooler in the kitchen. We're glad you're here. <laughs> we appreciate it. Well, we were gonna we've been talking about Valentine's mm -hmm. plans to make, and we had a couple of samplings here right. of different things that are going to be going on in Central. And you know what? Let's cover this too. Central is located. Located at 129 Coosa Street. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the entrance from the Coosa side as well as from the alley side downtown mm -hmm. in uh, in Montgomery. Valet the parking. Which valet is very parking. Important. Nice. Very, very important. Complimentary valet nice. parking. Right. Uh, which is huge downtown, especially when there's events going on at yes. the MTAC yep. or going, yep. on, going on in the area. Uh, we're open for lunch Monday through Friday, 11 to 2 o'clock, and we open up for dinner service at 5.30 every single evening, mm -hmm. except for Sunday. We're closed on Sundays. Thankfully, we get okay. a, a nice day of rest. And you, to let our viewers know, you will be closed on Valentine's Sunday. Correct. We will be closed on Valentine's Day Sunday. However, we are going to Good. do uh, an excellent uh, fixed price menu in addition to our regular menu on that Friday and Saturday evening prior to the 12th and the 13th. Um, and it's going to be $100 per person. Oh, I'm sorry. Couple. I apologize. Per couple. Yes. Per couple. My apologies. Fifty dollars. <laughs> big one. <laughs> Fifty dollars per person. But we're going to do it as a couple's menu, and right. uh, we're going to go four courses. We're going to do a complimentary glass of champagne. We're going to throw a little amuse in there. Choice of uh, a couple different starters. Choice of a couple different uh, soups and salads, and mm -hmm. then kind of to, to bring that romantic feel together, we're going to do a uh, shared entree for two. So Good. whether it be a, a nice Chateaubriand, uh, whether it be uh, our bringing back our whole roasted fish. Uh, we're doing a really, really nice pasta as Good. well, and then uh, a nice dessert spread on the on the tail end of things. Nice. I love it. The men are so happy with your steaks. Yes. Your steaks are good. <laughs> we uh, doing it over the open uh, open hickory wood grill. Uh, certainly adds another emphasis to mm -hmm. it. And then we also use a Hereford beef product that we're really, really proud of. Good. So. It's good. So this one now is a beet? It's a beet and blue cheese plate. Okay. So this is one that's been on the menu a couple of rotations. We just rolled out the new winter menu. Um, and it's one of our, our most popular dishes on the menu. So we figured we'd bring it in and talk about some seasonality and, okay. and some local ingredients. And so we've got these awesome baby beets that have been roasted off. And what we do is we toss them in a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt. Oh. We uh, put some foil over in them in a pan, put them in the oven, and just roast them. And then when they come out, we will peel them off and, and cut them up the way that we do. Healthy. Exactly. Healthy. And a classic pairing with, uh, with beets is blue cheese. So this is the Asher Blue from Sweetgrass Dairy out of Thomasville, Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a blue cheese and champagne dressing, if you will. Oh. So we whip the blue cheese with a little bit of champagne. Um, this was kind of a play growing up. I remember pulling beets out of my uh, gr grandfather's oh. garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> washing them off and cooking them. <laughs> so this is kind of a play on a, on a beet garden. And so the first thing we we'll do is we're going we're gonna to put the, uh, the dressing down across the board. This is a ho what we call a horseradish crumb. And uh, to get it to make it look like dirt, so the black, we actually char onions up in the, uh, the wood fire oven mm -hmm. and almost turn them into charcoal. And then we puree them up into an ash. And then we fold the ash into the horseradish crumb. So it's a, it's a oat-based, fresh horseradish grated in there, a little bit of butter baked off so it, mm. it turns into a crumb. So you've got that horseradish and beet and blue cheese thing going on, which is always phenomenal. And for those of you who might not have been, it's an open kitchen. It is. It is. So um, you can yes. watch all this going on. <laughs> and we've got we've got it lit up. It's almost. I always tell my guys to watch out because they're on the stage and they truly, truly. That are. is true. So, that is true. Uh, we've got the uh, the Asher blue cheese. It's going to go down next. And then we've got some gold beets. Is there a different taste to the gold beets um, and, the, and our typical I red beets? I think they're not quite as sweet, in okay. my opinion. Okay. Um, also, they are uh, slightly less earthy. So you know how okay. the beet has a okay. really truly right. earthy flavor. Right. The, the yellow beets, the golden beets, are a little bit more mellow with okay. that regard. Okay. Um, and they, they provide a nice contrast on the plate with regards to texture and, and color uh, specifically. I know health-wise, beets are extremely mm -hmm. good for you. Yes. And then to finish it off, what we do is we've got these picked herbs. And, and so... We've got the dirt on the bottom, the beet sitting <laughs> in the dirt, and then of course you got you got to have to put the green that goes on top of the beets. I love the symbolism here mm -hmm. of what exactly. you created. Well, it's it, to me, food is yeah. about connections, and food is about yes. memories, and food is about the 
bringing people back to some place, some kind yes. of emotional connection. Yes. And so to me, that is my memory of picking beets in my grandfather's garden. I'll be. I just love it. I love it. And then you, what Indeed. have you got, sea salt? Or? Uh, we've got a little bit of Maldon salt, so a little Maldon bit of sea salt, salt that we're f we'll okay. finish the beets with. And specifically the, the Maldon salt, um, using sea salt, you're, we cook with kosher salt at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's right. a feel thing, right? Right. right. Uh, the sea salt, specifically Maldon, has a, a minerality to it without uh, being okay. extremely salty. Mm -hmm. So is this, a little, oh, yeah. is this a little like the pink salt? Um, a little bit a like the Himalayan okay. salt, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This is coming from the, uh, the coast of Britain. Mm. Okay. You cannot look at how lovely this is. I don't right. do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, don't try this at home, huh? I, I would try it. It's a lot easier than it, than, than it looks. Oh, I'm so. sure. Yep. Well, Valentine's, you sweethearts and you husbands and wives, yes. 50 years like you're going on, mm -hmm. there's no better place to come and celebrate Valentine's with somebody you love. It might even be a friend as far Absolutely. as that goes. Just come and feel the warmth, the good food, and celebrate love. Absolutely. That's the strongest force on it is. earth. It is. So thank you so much for coming in and being with us. Thank and you for we'll, having us. We will look to see you at Valentine's at Central Downtown 129 Coosa. And we'll be right back.